Jan-Erik, starting. Yes, we can start, Maria Teltto. Uh, yes, and starting with the name of the exhibition. The handwriting is, has died. It finishes its count on quality. So it is something biographical in a way, I suppose. So it's all quite always in your art. I very seldom hold solo exhibitions. So I, I really tried then to find a team which, which is both very personal but also has more general uh, importance. My mother has saved all my handwriting exercises and I found them in a, in a big box and I started to go tr through them and I saw that, that they were really precisely done yeah. in a very beautiful way. So I thought it would be very nice to, to do a, a, an installation and an exhibition around this theme, which, which I think has very many, many sides. Yes, in, in a way, very a kind of political uh, meaning also. Yeah, also because they are not teaching it mm -hmm. in the Finnish schools anymore. Um, I have uh, both original exercises in handwriting exhibited uh, as a part of, of this installation, but I have also scanned a lot of the text and then yeah. printed the text on on uh, semi-transparent uh, screens. Life is very abstract, and it it's it. If you talk about now, it's just a short clip mm -hmm. <laughs> of your life, and, mm. and these are kind of uh, nows from from my youth. These yes, screens. Yes, yes. Yes, and, and what I understand, uh, having seen the exhibition, is, is uh, and having seen several of, uh, quite a lot of your art, the digital and the handmade, and in this case, handwriting, is over. They go, they are go, going side by side in your art in a way. Do you want to tell about this? Uh, why it was so important for you personally when you were? At school, a child of ten years, about ten, nine, ten years old, and your mother has saved everything. Yeah. Uh, so, what, what was it so important? For me, uh, they bring to to life the angst of my youth because I had a a very uh, bad stuttering at that time. I could actually not say anything during. Uh, the, the time we were in the classrooms. So uh, handwriting and drawing, they were both very important for me mm -hmm. because I could in that way create like a safe place mm -hmm. for, for my psyche. Thinking about it now later on, that they, they also gave me a sense of beauty. And the repetition, for example, is, a, is, a, is, is, is something which, which ornamentation has and uh, I think this that you, you can repeat an uh, organic line yeah. that it, it, it gives you a sense of beauty and, and a sense of uh, how you can ornate something. And uh, when we don't have this kind of very concrete physical touch with, with handwriting, I think we, we miss something there. We, mm. we, we, uh, everything gets more abstract, which you perhaps can see in the in the surroundings at the moment that it, it gets it, it, it's, a, it's a very kind of minimal not ornate <laughs> surrounding yes you are you're right it is something that is important and this is the the, the political side of the the thing that if we are not writing drawing so we are uh, forgetting that we are missing something yeah. But uh, drawing uh, is also about seeing and observing, mm -hmm. which is very important. Mm -hmm. that, that that you really you you really observe something when sure. when when you also draw, and this observation brings us to one of the other works in the exhibition, the mm -hmm. the swing and and the, and the mouse. Yes. Uh, Do you want which, to talk about you, this book? <laughs> because it's it's uh, it's a kind of a garden swing painted in in eight gr shades of green, and you can sit on it and also listen to to my friend uh, sound artist John Decker's uh, sound work, mm -hmm. and uh, 
for this we use speakers uh, casted in, in the earth around apples and in one pumpkin. When you sit there in this room, you can observe a mouse running over a, a, a path in nature every 30 seconds. Which is also kind of tells how life is very futile and, and a kind of a glimpse. <laughs> but uh, it's also connected, of course, to, to, to my interest in, in the early modernist in, 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 in art, for example, yeah. and, and how, how the early modernists uh, like Mondrian, did they didn't like the green color because it was representing nature and nature was chaos and they were striving for the kind of art which brings people up to the fourth the dimension. I, I have actually have had a dream of making a totally green work. And now, <laughs> now, 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 now it's there. So, so it is nearly in your uh, career of 40 years. Uh, this is the this this uh, the first time you are using green color. Well, I, I have made one one because work. You are first. using <laughs> the basic colors that are red and blue and yellow. They, those are the colors you have yeah, used yeah, several I, I, years, I, all the time, but the green one was something uh, like yes, I, forbidden. I, it's forbidden. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you are right, very seldom. As a younger artist, you were very, very urban. and <laughs> uh, But nowadays, you are a little bit uh, changed. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> I have actually studied uh, biology and uh, uh, botany for many years. So I have this kind of interest in... in at the university. In, in, at so the university. Yes. Yeah. In a way, I avoid to disturb nature. I, I try not to interfere so much with it. it. We have to leave it. We have to let it be. Yeah. I live at the moment in a house shaped like a leaf and mm -hmm. we have a garden and this garden is we, we also let it be we, we, we think about the, the, the all the, the pollinators uh, the, the swing and the shelf under the monitor and also the the philosopher's table they are all actually made in the middle of this garden mm -hmm. I all, uh, actually painted them there mm -hmm as a part of nature, <laughs> in a way. And also using old leftover wooden materials from the building of the Life mm -hmm. and Leaf House, mm -hmm. the kind of a re recycling philosophy. And, and, and also these parts made in, in concrete, like the speakers and the benches, mm -hmm. and, uh, and the stands for the, for the handwritten screens, they are all made in the earth, in the garden. Oh, that's interesting. They will also hopefully be a part of the new house I'm planning, which is a mm. hexagonal house called the Spruce House. Yeah, so now is it, I think it, it could be important to talk about the, the, the surrounding, the place where the house is, uh, Life on the Leaf House, and and now your new house is coming. You, you you would you like to tell about the ideas? When I started to plan this exhibition two years ago or three years ago, I I, I was also at the same time planning this next house. Mm. So I thought, why don't I let these processes m melt into each other? Yeah. The, the floor plan of the hexagonal house is, is made, the walls are made with grass, grass growing. Okay. <laughs> the table was placed exactly where the table is going to be in, in the next house, but, mm -hmm. but it 
during the summer it was in the grass house. Also the shelf under the monitor. Okay. And the swing was out there where it's yeah. supposed to be in yeah. when we have the, the next house built. Mm -hmm. And I think this, this, the whole planning process, how to plan a house like this, like one to one in the garden, where I can see how, how, how the rooms are going to be there, and and the the model is made of nature. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Which I yes. think, uh, and this this will also then affect the house in many ways. So, the philosopher's table, which which. which which will then be our main table, the dining table mm -hmm. in the next house. It, it, it has a surface, yeah. uh, which is about that the world is burning, mm -hmm. <laughs> and we have we cannot forget it. We, we have to. When you sit by the table, you will see it, and you will always mm -hmm. be reminded at, that yeah. at the moment yeah. everything is burning. Yes, uh, as a Stutterer, I, I, I think that uh, the tables also have a they also have a influence of how we are communicating. Mm -hmm. When I planned the life and leave house, I also started by making the tables. <laughs> but you know, you know, in the theater, in the many theater pieces, classical theater pieces, uh, the table, people sitting around the table, is quite always the basic thing. So, so it is something very, very uh, archaic. Uh, yes. Uh, if you uh, don't have a table, you have a fire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have the fire on the table, so, no, so yes. we have it. So, in in this exhibition, you you have this table here, and then then you have this surroundings and and the uh, uh, pictures. Uh, do these pictures exist in a way in your future house? Those wall works, they are made more like normal artworks. Mm -hmm. They are, for example, that big one is it's four meters wide, so it's it's not going to fit in our very very small <laughs> next house. <laughs> yeah, but I, I, so, what so, I meant it, it was, uh, is it's it is there is a world the idea in in this. Uh, yes, I I I I have realized that I I the actually always strive to make a total artwork. Yes, like That's a it, like yeah. a feeling in in, in uh, somehow make space. Uh, how can art make architectural space that has been a like a, a question for me for many many decades yeah. and so i was very happy here in 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 this gallery that i could make like one room yeah where, where also the, the walls has works which are kind of mirrored in the table yeah yeah and sure. all is about fire and this big work for example the the four meter wide digital uh, drawing and collages uh, is uh, is about my relationship to America and USA actually mm -hmm. <laughs> because I I happened to be in in USA a few years ago and I I, I could experience these fires the smoke and yeah. I was terrified by looking at these pictures yeah. but also of the visual beauty of this destruction which is kind of crazy uh, so I thought I, I really wanted to, to do a work concerning my, my, my relationship to, to America and, and then I, I found a lot of Los Angeles pools on internet which yeah. I contrasted to, to, to the, this burning landscape and I placed a lot of persons people who have been in, important for me uh, and for example Janis Joplin and Jim Morrison mm -hmm. uh, because American and, and English pop culture kind of saved my life in many in many ways mm -hmm. so they are there and and uh, also George O'Keefe is there it's very very good painter she she kind of Escape the world in her retreat in New Mexico, yeah. 
okay. and uh, then we have uh, Charles Ives, which is a very good composer, very mm. kind of experiment, ex experimental composer in the early 20th century, who made this fantastic composition, uh, the unanswered question, which gave the name for for the, the whole work. Mm -hmm. And on the last panel, there is uh, Arnold Schoenberg, who, who escaped the Nazis mm -hmm. to USA in the 1930s. Uh, he's standing by the, the pool by David Hockney. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I made a lot of works in the 1980s, which I, I reflected my own life against uh, the international art stars. <laughs> yes, so uh, there is there is something in yeah. that work. I, but, I was yeah. just uh, <laughs> it uh, uh, came to my mind the word postmodernism, and I think in in a way we we are not talking about postmodernism today, but in a way the idea to to mix all these things into yeah into yeah the same I, of course way. i mean i i, I have always uh, thought that i have a kind of a very postmodern aesthetic yeah but i i don't deal with irony it's more like love and and respect yes. but then i mix mix a lot of yeah stuff maybe it's not uh, yeah. useful to talk of so much about postmodern, but it came just yeah, yeah, of to, course, to of my course. mind. But but we in the 1980s, I remember that we were talking about irony, but also that there there is a, a way of joy and and light. It can be warm, yeah, yeah. so it, it it is not always so cold yeah. and it cool. It was it was kind of if there is an irony, it's more about the the whole art market, the whole like yeah. how art market, yes. how the whole art life is functioning. Yes. It's, it's not it's, but when I, when I talk about art and artist, it's 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 more love and respect. Yeah. Some of the smaller works are, are inspired by my trip to Armenia, mm. which is uh, the birthplace of the Christianity in many ways. And mm -hmm. we have the the mountain Ararat yeah. very close by, although it's in, on the Turkish side. But yeah. just to be there, and uh, I was photographing a lot of the, the monasteries and, and, and churches, and, and then I went to the the manuscript museum in Yerevan, which is a fantastic place, and I photographed old mm, medieval uh, illustrations. Yeah. I scanned them later on and constructed my own temples out of those, yeah. which I found was was very very inspiring, and and they were all made actually last. Autumn, when I, I started to like the, 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 the darkness of the Finnish late autumn for the first time in my life. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I, I just wanted to make a series of very dark work with, with a small candle somewhere. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Like, like a yes. hope. Yeah. The burning can also be like a flame of hope. It is a mixture of east and west, so we have Los Angeles and Ararat, and, and then you have the, in the table you have this this very very Finnish, the the painting of Axel and Kallela of this yeah. uh, Tuonela painting, the the colors and the light, the very dark light, we we using very very, it, it is not. It is not so terrible. It is it is real light as we have here now. Yeah, it's I, coming. I think also when when I think about the uh, how I ex experienced my life when I, when I was young, mm -hmm. like when when I made those handwriting in the nineteen sixties, yeah. uh, I felt that that my life is going to be nothing. It 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 really was terrible, and it's mm -hmm. very hard to describe. I. I even even thought that 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 I cannot have my own kids because I I don't want that there is a chance that they get the stuttering because my own mm. father was stuttering and I, I thought yeah. if it kind of some somehow genetically transfers to my my kids it's going to be terrible. Mm. There is also a key work in this exhibition. It's it's not big one. It's a very small one, and it's a, a picture from a a. a 
a theater play in, in, in the primary school where the, the teacher said that I should be a king there and I should read a poem. I, I, was, I was terrified. I was, I was totally yeah. terrified that this, this won't work. But as all stutterers know, if, if you pretend to be something else, it might be that, that it goes, it floats. Yeah, and you, that's you what happened there. I, 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 I just got it out. Yeah. And I was so happy. My mother wrote a, a lot of handwritten letters to my father, who was uh, a captain on a boat. And I, I found a passage where, where she was so happy when, when it went well for me uh, in that uh, theater play. I'm, I'm thinking a lot about the pain she must have had for me, yeah. when she thought about how, how I'm going to survive in, in this world. And, and this is, this is, I think, a, it's a key key thing in, in in many of my works. This what what do we get from the earlier generation, mm -hmm. and what are we transferring further to to, to the next generation? Yes. The, the, the happiness I have felt every day because I, I'm in I'm not there anymore in the 1960s. I, I'm so happy. You want it. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, I, I think this 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 light is is shining somehow in my works, e even yeah. if if the themes There's might be hope. very very uh, dark in in many ways. But I I thought that I, I can use the the contemporary digital knowledge culture. Mm -hmm. For example, you can find uh, videos on YouTube uh, which. Uh, illustrates how you make handwriting in, in, in any language almost. So mm -hmm. I, I have a small series of work where I have tried to see if I can do handwriting anymore. And I have written the word uh, fire in, in 13 different languages. Also native American, for example, mm -hmm. and, and Hebrew. And uh, it, it, it was a very interesting trip. Yes. which shows that um, what you can get out of, the, of, of this culture we have now, mm -hmm. the whole internet. Mm -hmm. As a child you didn't maybe think I will be an artist, but in a, in, in, in a way all, many of the ideas they are coming from your youth or your, yeah, from yeah. your childhood already. Yeah, yeah. yeah you, are, you, are, you are right, it's there and it, it took me a very long time actually to get into the art because I, I, I went mm. through the to the path of the natural sciences first. Yes. But uh, but it's there and the line is uh, there. There it's is a there red and, line. And I, I think also that that although if we don't realize it that we, we have this this very very like snaps from the childhood. They are present in, in everybody. Mm, yeah. they, they they are this snapshots are projected somewhere in, in our brains all the time. It yeah, uh, affects our present moment. Of course. Uh, and uh, so I, I think it, they, are, they are really important. For instance, For, uh, we are talking about this handwriting that they, are, they can't learn it any, anymore at school. But, but what I, I was thinking that uh, what is very valuable really in this exhibition also that, that there are or there is the letter of your mother uh, she has sent telling about you to your father and, 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 and your mother has saved all the correspondence and all the material you have written and, and this is something that many of the people they don't have such archives and they, they are very important and nowadays we, we don't have, we, we are living in this digital world. This is the whole life in, in a way. Yeah, I've, I've actually been thinking a lot about ornamentation because yeah. when, when, when the whole modernist culture tried to get rid of the ornamentation, mm -hmm. they, uh, ornamentation has also, uh, there's, a, there's an essence of taking care of built into ornamentation. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you, you want to take care of something, you, you, you ornate it, you, 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 you somehow want to, to give it 
a longer life, like a more important life. In this exhibition, I can see so clearly uh, uh, that yeah. it's so important yeah, yeah. to save something, some yeah. documents of your life. For people who belong to this younger generation, it, it seems that it's it's this is not so important that mm. you that you you have something yeah. saved and. Uh, so yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm thinking about how to do this now in the next house to, to have all the, the, the uh, older generations present also mm -hmm. in the house. Mm -hmm. We have it in the leaf house. By, I took some furniture yeah. from my grandmother's house and put it there. Just you know, just to have some kind of touch. Yes, uh, but, but now I, I understood now in this exhibition something that I have been thinking long time because I am, I am art historian, it is my education and my background is in art history. So well, now I understood that the, we have this, when we are talking about the history, it is always a story about the past. But the past is how to uh, have the past present also in the future. So it is very simple way to put it. but. Mm. The, in this exhibition, it's it's present. The past is present also, and why it? What is the idea? Not everything in the past is is important and valuable. Maybe we don't know. We we are evaluating all the time. Also, the history, the past. But here, this is the the idea. As I said, the Kauno on quote, the the handwriting has died. It is a political issue that that is a pity. Yeah, I, I, I don't know if I if I told you earlier, but I I, I just realized uh, when I put up the, the whole installation with the three primary colored sc screens, yeah, uh, how how they are kind of the 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 the, the screens of the old knowledge system based on handwriting and, mm -hmm. and reading books and ornamentation but then i have the monitor which is the screen for yes. this age based yeah. on the digital uh, knowledge system and, and uh, that's that, that that's kind of a, a interesting continuation mm -hmm. there that, yeah. that, but what I said, said uh, this, as I said, it is a kind of conclusion, but past is present in the future, but it is a, a, a different way of thinking than the, this, we said, the modernist way, that that every, everything is new, that yeah, yeah, we don't yeah. need what was. Yeah, you are right, yeah. yeah it's that, gone. It's, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, yes, yes, I, I, it's I agree. I agree. I think this is... It's, so it's a very it's, philosophical, uh, and uh, it, it also connects to how we plan the, the modernist. Uh, the whole architecture is planned mm. so that that you have a new home and a new, very clean, white modernist home, mm. and there is no no aesthetical place for some old objects. Mm -hmm. they, they don't fit into to a kind no. of a, a new designed environment, mm. but the. The kind of world I'm, I'm trying to, to, to create is, is, is a world with, with where you can put any object and it, it still mm -hmm. has its place there. Mm -hmm. Any object and any any idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, uh, it's it's and I think this has to do with the digital transformation of of, of, of what is modern. Because now, now you have the screen, so you can you can be anywhere. You can mm. be in an old Roman ruin in in Armenia, <laughs> or, so or, or, or whatever, and you can be modern because of the screen, on a cell phone or a laptop. You are you are always modern. Mm. So so it, it it kind of changes everything. You are always present. Mm. With, for this, like with with this short slice of, 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 of now. Yeah. Yes. Um, so that's why the past is always present today, but it, it will be present in the future. And that, 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 that was the point in the context of, of this exhibition and in your work.
I think. And then it came to me when I was thinking about the uh, the way of your mother, how she she was saving the letters, archiving the letters. And now you, it is a part of your history. The letter she uh, wrote to your father, and it's very very important document. So what I, to me as a, as an art historian, I'm thinking this is a document something. What it tells, yeah, yeah, and there are many ways to interpret it. What is there in this idea? This, of course, it was the the uh, way of living in your family that your your father was a sea captain and quite a lot away, and and you were living your mother and and the children, and 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 she was telling to him about your life here. And your father was somewhere far away. Yeah, it must have been very terrible for him, for example, mm. to, to be very, very far away from from the problems. Yeah, which I had. So, so, so there is this. this if I am using the concept, yeah. there is this time and a place and uh, uh, and uh, something that uh, far away, so it, it, in a different time.